<laughs> Hello boys and girls. Well, I think it's about time we finally put the voting that you guys wanted up for grabs. Not up for grabs, um... Let's talk about Attack on Titan. your path to be We're all here So, yes, for those of you who have been living in a fucking cave for the past 10 years, for those of you who don't know, Attack on Titan, or in Japanese, is Shingeki no Kyojin, sometimes translating as The Advancing Giant, is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Hajime Isayama, known for the Killing Pawn, Attack on Avengers, or and Heartbreak 1. It is set in a world for um, where humanity is forced to live in the city surrounded by three enormous walls, that are to protect them from gigantic many in humanoids referred to as titans. The story then follows Eren Jaeger who vows to exterminate the titans after they bring about the destruction of his hometown and the death of his mother. It was serialized in uh, Kodarasha's monthly shonen magazine, uh, Bisatsu Shonen Magazine from September 2009 to April 2021. With the total of 139 chapters collected into 34 Tankabon volumes, an anime, adapt an anime series adaptation was produced by Wit Studio, known for Vinland Saga, The One Piece when it finally comes out on Netflix, Spy Family, The Ranking of Kings, my dear fr and my dear friend um, Nogatan, who worked on the first three seasons, but then later Studio Mappa, known for Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuri on Ice, uh, Banana Fish, Hell's Paradise, and Run My One Half 2024, worked on the fourth and final season, and also worked on the new movie which recently came out in 2024. Attack on Titan has become a critical and commercial success. By November 2023, the manga had sold over 140 million copies in circulation, making it one of the best-selling manga series of all time. It has won several awards, including the Kondanshas well, um, Award, uh, the Atelio uh, Michelizui, if I'm pronouncing that right, <laughs> probably way far off, and also won the Harvey Award. Um, little basic, well not basic, but a little um, background check first before we get into any of it. I know you guys voted that I talk about Attack on Titan, but for this video I will only be covering the first season. So only season one will be covered. If this video gets popular enough or if you guys want to, I could cover the other seasons of the show so I can cover seasons two through four. And I might copy, I'm um, not copy, I might cover the new movie when it comes out eventually in the U, well it's already out in the UK, but once it eventually becomes available on like digital or physical or whatever, I might talk about it eventually through that. So we got the overall synopsis of Attack on Titan, as if I haven't gone over it already. The story follows Eren Jaeger and his childhood friends Mikasa Ackerman and Armin Arlet, uh, who, li who, li who lives are changed after uh, forever after the colossal titan breaches the, the wall of their hometown. Vowing revenge and to reclaim the world from titans, Eren and his friends must join the scout regiment, an elite group of soldiers, to fight the titans. So for those of you who have somehow not watched Attack on Titan, feel free to click off this video. Go on Crunchyroll or whatever website that would be streaming it right now. I mean, it's one of the most beloved animes in the past 10 to 15 years anyway, so... Yeah, but give it a watch if you haven't. If not, there'll be spoilers ahead of this first season, so let's get straight into it. So the series starts off with Eren waking up from a nightmare 
probably of a nightmare of how the toxic My Hero Academia fan base is, where we then get introduced to his adopted sister Mikasa, who he met on a very fun family vacation. <laughs> And it got really crazy when the third guy showed up. Uh, we then get a little look of his home life and how shitty his dad is. <clears throat> Just like every edgy kid, Aaron has daddy issues. And as his dad left to go get some milk and cigs, uh, we're then introduced to Armin, who is just the absolute worst. I really hate to admit it, but I really do not like Armin in this season. <laughs> Um, but when we see a big and real naked titan who then caves in the wall causing the entire the, the entirety of this outer wall of Maria to go into a massive panic Aaron and Mikasa then um, see that the house is completely collapsed with Aaron's mother still inside it the kids then try to save her but just as the giga charred Hans uh, shows up and as it happens don't worry kids it's time for Hans Get your mom out of there! I'll take care of this titan lickety-split! No, 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 no! Alright, kids, say goodbye to mom! No! Eren then begs him to turn him around, but then Hans is like, Nope, we can't turn back now, it's too late! Eren's mother then gets chowed down by a titan. And this fuels Eren's rage and hatred towards all the Titans. Then after about two to three years of literally nothing happening, <clears throat> along with a third of the human yeah, along with a third of the human population being completely wiped out of the planet, Eren and his friends then start training with the, honestly one of the best and memorable side characters of the entire series. Alright, Aryan Coconut! What's your name? I, I, I... Well, sweet Mother Teresa on the hood of a Mercedes Benz! You sound like a majestic fucking eagle! Do you sing? Uh... Harmonize with me, maggots! I don't know if I can! Ah! What about you, Muffin Top? What's your story? Oh, well, my name's John Kirstein from Trust, and after I ace this academy, I'll be joining the military police. Well, you seem to have a good head on your shoulders. Oh, well, thank you so much. Well, sweet jolly fucking ranchers, I bet your mom wishes she had swallowed you. <laughs> so, what's going on in this neck of the woods? You got something to eat there? Yeah, I'm just eating a potato. Ah! Oh, potatoes, huh? You, uh... You like some potatoes? Mm-hmm. Alright. Well, uh, from now on... You'll be known as Potato Girl. I don't like that name. You know... Those are actually quite high in calories. You, uh... You know what's a real good way for burning off calories? What? <laughs> what's the matter, Jaeger? It's too difficult for you? Well, if you want to quit, that's fine. We got plenty of job openings at the custodial department, so you can clean up your shit performance! Why can't you be more like that majestic stallion John over there? Oh my god, John, you're so fucking cool, holy shit! Well, sweet Pacific Rim job, look at you, Jagger. You're all loose and tight at the same time. John, why can't you be more like Jagger Bump? Plastic over here! Oh. oh my god, John, you suck! <laughs> Uh, after some insults and realizing how much of a little cunt Jean is, uh, is a whole load of pretty much nothing much happens. And now Aaron and his friends are selected into the top 10, with some of the main characters um, mostly just being Titan fodder at this point. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, another. What was it? But then all of a sudden, Colossal Titan shows up again. For some reason. <laughs> And then he kicks in the wall rows and then causing chaos everywhere just like it did a few years ago. 
Aaron then missed the Titan because he's a fucking loser. Uh, everyone then gets absolutely fucking minced. Armin nearly gets eaten by Santa Christ. But then Aaron takes what happens to... You know, Aaron then takes his place and then gets nommed in just instead. <laughs> a whole lot of moping and literally not really much happens around this time. And then suddenly Aaron turns into a fucking Titan. Mikasa looks at the Titan and then is like, damn. He's not like the others. He's so strong and muscly and hot. Mikasa, it's a Titan. It's literally a giant dickless Ken doll with an emo haircut. Well, you guys talk shit about girls all the time. Why is it that when I talk about a guy, suddenly it's not okay? Yeah, those are human. Women, not Titans. No one here wants to fuck a Titan but you, Mikasa. A giant ravenous woman bid on the destruction of mankind? Speak for yourself, Connie. I never said I want to bang a Titan. Doesn't matter. You fantasizing about the Titan is just wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, it's not like I've got many options. Tell me, what's a girl supposed to dream about? You, Connie? With your little dwarf biceps? Or... Armin? Yes! No! The Bang Master! No! Just look at him. That chiseled chest. That rebellious face. Oh yeah! Look at that! Maybe if you're real naughty, Emo Titan will spank you with that ratty scarf. Oh my god, yes. That would be so hot. Wait, Mikasa. When's the last time you washed that thing? Mikasa! What? When was the last time you washed that scarf? Never. What? I feel like a dirty little vacuum cleaner. So then all of a sudden, Mikasa wants to fuck this dickless version of Eren. And then everyone catches onto this, and then they all want to try and execute Eren once his body is emerged from the Titan's neck. And then some of the soldiers are trying to execute Eren and Armin and Mikasa. Uh, Eren then saves everyone into biting his hand and transforming into turning into a titan, which just in time, uh, Eren can then tank any cannon fire and revert back to his human form just in time. Then we're put into an, the courtroom, and I know I'm skipping a lot of um, stuff, a, li a little bit of a head still, because there's just a lot of shit to cover in Season 1 of Attack on Titan. <laughs> So then Levi, everyone's favorite character in the show for some reason, shows up, beats the shit out of Aaron, and Aaron is like, huh, I don't like this little fucker one bit, but we can use him if I train him. <laughs> so then Aaron goes with Levi for a little bit to train, and by going the Miyagi route, by cleaning loads of shit. <laughs> now, skipping over some very unimportant stuff, we then get to meet... Um, Hange Zoe, who is then just like my favorite potato girl, Sa my particular favorite potato girl, Sasha, uh, gives us just the purest of vibes, just showing that they are clearly one of the funniest characters of the entire franchise. Uh, she just wants to study Eren's Titan form a little bit more, but all of a sudden, uh, a blonde female Titan shows up. I wonder who the fuck that will be. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So it's obvious, yeah, so my obvious observation, with no hockey, no less. Uh, it turns out that the female Titan was actually Annie uh, Leonhardt, a character who barely got any screen time through the entire show, of this, well, through the season, pretty much. And a character, um, <clears throat> so Eren, Levi, Mikasa, and Armin create a plan to seal a hole in Wall Rose, after doing loads of other boring shit and a few more of the scout regiment get completely fucking annihilated. Yeah, the plan starts off well, but then Annie turns around and tries to sabotage the entire plan by fucking everything up in her Titan form. Whereas Eren successfully blocks the bolt, well, blocks the hole with a top boulder. And not gonna lie, I do like the fight between Titan Annie and Titan Eren. But then again, when you look at Annie's Titan form, I too am just like, damn. And maybe Armin can actually uh, vouch for me on it as well. Don't you love me? I am the Crimson King, anointed in blood and destined to claim you by my side. Now to stick the leg. Look upon these two sacrifices I brought you. Look upon them and use them as you will. What the fuck is going on with Armin? Yours to take. And once you join my side, wait, Ryder, no! Yeah, yeah. Fire! 
Rip Reiner, fight! Yeah! Use your retard strength! Think of your favorite crayons! Sunset Hort! Reiner, keep fighting! We shall not keep beating on! Periwinkle Blue! Yes! Crush him, my dark queen! Tickle me, Dick! You can do it! Fuzzy! Fuzzy! Manatee! Crush him! Reiner, crush him! No, not Reiner. Who's going to stand outside and cheer me on when I'm taking a dump now? Who's going to insist on playing Does This Look Like a Vagina every lunchtime? Crayola! <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's the closest thing we're going to get to a really cool ku kaiju fight at this beginning of the series. Anyway... So then, after the fight against Annie, she then gets completely crystallized somehow, which I don't really think is purely explained, either that or I'm just too fucking stupid to acknowledge it. But I don't think she'll be okay after that. But then, anyway, a part of the wall cracks a little bit, and then we then has revealed that there is a Titan face inside the wall. And that's literally where season ends... Completely. What the fuck was the ending? <laughs> so, that was just the overall summary of the story of Attack on Titan. So, other than that, I'm now going to jump into talking about the characters. Now, I'll only talk about characters that I feel like are worth talking about in this um, section. Mostly because there's way too many characters in the first season of Attack on Titan for me to actually cover. Because if I was going to do every character that appears in the first season, then it would, this video would be like way much longer than what it actually needs to be. <laughs> so we're going to talk about some of the key players who I think I deserve to, of, to have my acknowledgement. So we've got Aaron Yeager, voiced by Yuki Kaiji in the subbed version and voiced by Bryce uh, Peppenbrook in the dub. Aaron is a decent main character who has go good motiv motivation throughout the whole season on why he wants to wipe out all the titans. And he does actually progress in a good way throughout the entirety of this first season. And obviously I've not actually watched any of the other seasons of Attack on Titan beyond the first one. So if I do decide to do more of it, I am actually, I do know that he has like more of a light Yagami complex later in the series. But I am looking forward to see how it actually all turns out in the end. Then we got Mikasa Ackerman. Voiced by Yui Ishikawa in the sub version and voiced by Trina Nishimura in the dub version. She serves a more of a protective older sibling to Eren, but we all know that she that it's so fucking obvious that she seriously is in love with Eren. I do like Mikasa, but she could have been shown a lot more in this first season in my own opinion, but overall sure, I do find her as a great character. Like we could have gotten a lot more like solo stuff of her. I mean, come on now, I mean, why not? Then we got Armin Arlott, voiced by Marina Inoue in the sub version and voiced by Jesse James Griel in the dub. I do not like Armin in this first half of the season. Uh, but he did grow on me a little bit as a character as the season did progress, I will admit, as much as I hate it. But I do also believe that through friends having watched Attack on Titan ahead of me, apparently have told me that he does actually get better throughout the entire show so I might be having to keep a closer eye out on that then we got Levi Ackerman voiced by Hiroshi Kamiya in the sub version and voiced by Matthew Mercer in the dub um, what is there to actually say about him that was hasn't already been said before I mean, to be honest since I found out that he actually was voiced by Matt Mercer you know the guy who voices that does the English dub voice for Jotaro in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Trafalgar Law in um, One Piece I can see why everyone actually loves this character mostly because he just gives off the vibe of I am more powerful than you and I won't let you fucking forget it very much like Kakashi from Naruto or Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen next I got Annie Leonhardt, voiced by Yu Shimamura in the sub version and voiced by Lauren Lander in the dub. Annie does make up for an okay antagonist before the ending, well for the ending of the season at least, because it gives us a proper Titan on Titan fight that we should have been actually able to see for this first season. Uh, but I do wish we could have had more involvement with Annie throughout the whole season, which would probably would have fixed a 
probably quite a lot of issues. We could learn a lot more why she's actually doing these certain, certain things in the whole season. But I have been spoiled on later in the show that she does come back, so I probably might have to make a little note later on that when I cover the rest of the series. Next we got Jean Kirstein, voiced by Kyosho Taniyama in the subversion and by Mike McFarland in the dub. Jean is just a cunt. <laughs> like, not just to Aaron, but to some of the other characters in the series. B just gives off the vibe of, I want everyone to bend to my will because I am too cool for this shit and I think I'm better than everyone and I don't care if... Like, I do not care if he improves over the course of the whole show. But we'll see if I actually decide to cover the other seasons, whether or not I want to on maybe. <laughs> then we got Sasha Browse. Voiced by Yu Kobayashi in the sub and by Ashley Birch in the dub. Well, for the first three seasons at least, because I know there was like a weird contractual uh, situation probably going on between for them to change voice actors for um, Sasha in the late in the final season. I just love this character, especially in the beginning when she just makes me laugh every time during the training arc. Uh, but I am very glad we managed to get some good memes out of her back in the day when Attack on Titan first came out. <laughs> And I do hope we do get to see more of um, Sasha and have her progress as one of my favourite potato goblins in the franchise. So, that was my very shitty put together look into Attack on Titan Season 1. Attack on Titan Season 1 is still a solid part to, well, it's a solid start to a bigger story. Uh, obviously, almost everyone has seen it in the last 12 years after its premiere, initial airing. I do recommend it to those who still haven't watched it. But I might cover the rest of the show as I go along with the well, the rest of my videos as I try and publish them as regularly as I can. But that's also down for you guys to decide whether or not you want me to talk about or give a very quick rundown of Attack on Titan. So that has been my look into Season 1 of Attack on Titan. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified on every single thing that I upload onto the channel as well. And don't forget as well to... Um, Follow me on my Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and um, my TikTok as well, and the Facebook page, which will all be in the description down below. Um, also, if you missed any of my live streams or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. I can I always upload my my live streams onto YouTube as well the next day as soon as I actually can, because at the moment I am playing a few games. But if you want to, where I basically will just uh, have a general chat, obviously reacting to the game. And also cracking a few jokes here and there. So if you guys want to catch, please feel free to if you want to. Uh, other than that, I ain't got anything else to say. So I'll catch you lovely lads and ladies in the next one.